Your child's school lunch may be a bit different than it has been in recent years. And KSNT News reporter Dan Garrett is live at Jardine Elementary to explain the changes from the USDA and how it could impact local schools. Dan? Brooke, Jace, some of the big policy changes are allowing more sugary milks as well as t getting rid of some of the whole grain foods. The USDA says that there are many reasons for these changes. In 2012, there was a huge push for healthier foods. More fresh veggies and whole grain. But do kids enjoy it? Um, I really don't have no complaints. My children don't come home with any complaints. They don't say it's nasty or anything like that. But they are veggie type people, so. <laughs> Wanda Thomas has two kids at Topeka Public Schools. After the announcement from the USDA, schools are becoming less strict on food policy, allowing more salt and sugar to foods. A spokesperson for Topeka Public Schools says the new policy won't change their lunches too much. We use a lot of fresh produce. We use local vendors in our buildings who we contract with. Um, we try to stay away from as much canned and processed as we can, and so that kids are already getting fresh fruits and vegetables. Misty Kruger with Topeka Public Schools says the changes people will see the most is in sodium, and that comes in certain types of bread. Thomas says she is glad the district won't change their menu too much and stay healthy. Those kids is French fries, cheeseburgers, pizzas, call it a day. But one, I think once they got used to it, I think it's okay. There's no official date on when these changes will occur. One of the concerns was that kids were throwing away the healthy foods and the food was going to waste and the kids weren't getting the nutrients anyway. But one way Jardine helped solve that problem is they have a share table at the school so if kids don't want certain treats, they're able to give it to other students. Live in Topeka, Dan Garrett, KSNT News. All right, Dan, thank you.